Hello, Lister Nation fans. Welcome back to another exciting Lucas Chat podcast with your host, Tyrus Lester. Now, hopefully you guys are welcomed back, and hopefully you guys are ready for this podcast. Of course, if you missed it, the previous podcast show, please check them out. Kennedy Lucas, he did a podcast over Sonic Mania. Of course, I think they're calling it the road to Sonic Mania. Now, hopefully you guys check them out, because today we're going to be, we're going to do a little bit better. <laughs> um... So we're here in the studio here talking about uh, this new game that's, uh, that's been out for a while. Of course, it's called No Man's Sky. Now, this game, let me just say, Lister Nation fans, and of course, Lucas Nation fans, I didn't forget about y'all, but this game is just really kick-ass. I really do enjoy um, how this game is really developed and how it's really formed. Um, of, co- of course, we do have a little bit of gameplay planned for you guys right now. Um, now... Within this game, I thought to myself, this game is going to be something unique. I was looking for that special, special word for it, and it's unique. All day today at work and in the office, I'm saying, what's the word I can use to describe this game? This game, again, has to be unique. Of course, it's your first-person type of shooter, but you're going around with all these different planets and all these different areas. Um, Of course, there's a lot of planets you guys can explore this. Now, unfortunately... As we're getting some word here, unfortunately, that this game is only out for your uh, Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4. Now, what really doesn't make sense to me, and, you know, I I talked in the office again, I talked to Kennedy about it, is why have this game out for Microsoft Windows but not for Xbox One? Sadly but truly, it's only out for Windows and uh, Microsoft Windows via your computer and your PlayStation 4. Um, Of course, this game has been advertised really well. It's been out there for quite some time, and uh, quite some time this this game has been developed. Um, Of course, this game takes, you know, this game probably took years upon years to develop because there's just so much stuff that goes into this game, so much elements within this game. Um, I really do like the game cover. Uh, I think it's really uh, colorful. It has all these different colors. Of course, I'm going to give you a little plot of uh, No Man's Sky. It says, No Man's Sky is an action, adventure, survival video game developed and published by Indie Studio, uh, Studios and Hello Games for PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows. This game was released worldwide in August 2016, so last month. Uh, the gameplay of, the, of No Man's Sky is built on four pillars, exploration, survival, comeback, and trading. Players are free to perform within the entire, entirely of a uh, procedural generated deterministic open universe that I love that word deterministic because you're really going around you're really going to these different planets there's like thousands upon thousands of uh, planets you have to explore into this game I don't think anybody will ever beat this game honestly uh, this game which includes 18 quintillion planets whoa quintillion planets many of their own sets and Flora and Fonda. Now, this game here probably takes up a lot, and I do mean a lot of gigabytes. I just I wonder how they really do it in, into this game. Players participate in the shared universe with the uh, with the ability to exchange uh, planets, information with friends. Though the game is uh, also fully playable offline, which is good for all these off- offline players. This is uh, this is enabled by the procedural generation system that assume players. Uh, to find the same planet and the same features, life, life forms, and other aspects once giving to the planet coordinates. Um, requiring no further, uh, no further data to store and retrieval from game servers, nearly all elements of the game are procedural generated yeah, into uh, the star system, planets, and are their ecosystems. Ecosystem. 
So this game here is, uh, again, it's developed by Hello Games and published by uh, Hello Games again. A uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Yes, if you guys do not know it yet, Sony uh, Computer Entertainment has changed their name to Sony Interactive Entertainment. I really think that's a kick-ass name. I think we did a podcast over this with, with me and Kennedy. But um, produced by Susie Wallace, designer by Sean Murray. And, of course, you have a long list of programmers like Ryan Doyle, uh, Harry Dimhoyle, Dim, Dimholm, and Daniel Ring. Of course, you got your artists like Grant Duncan and Jacob Golding. Of course, you got a composer of Paul Ware. Of course, the release date was August, uh, August 9th, 2016. I believe that, that is a Tuesday. Now, as you guys are seeing footage, this game cover is very beautiful. Um, the video game itself is very uh, beautiful. They really thought of their elements, and it really makes you uh, think about, um, you know, the aspects of this game. Um, I have no disappointments within this game, really, because um, I think this game is going to grow. I think they're going to also offer expansion packs as well. Um, I just think it's going to take a little bit of time to do that, but I think they're going to do expansion packs as well. I don't know if it's a multiplayer uh, concept. I think it's just a single player type of game, but then you play online, multiple, uh, multiple, uh, multiplayer online. Um, again, guys, there's so much you can do. You just have to collect a lot of stuff. Uh, this game does, uh, this game, this game does kind of prescribe as a, uh, as a one person shooter. Uh, you, of course, you're going uh, into your spaceship, you're traveling, uh, different worlds. I kind of got, when I was in the ship, I kind of got like a Star Fox feel. I don't know if many people, many, many players had that feel, but when you're in your starship, you're going around these planets. It kind of reminds me of the new Star Fox game, Star Fox Zero, uh, which I did look at, and then that game, that's, that's a whole nother, another thing, because that, that game is just beautiful. Um, but I kind of got a Star Fox, kind of a Star, Star Wars, Star Fox kind of feel to it. Um, within your ship, you got so much stuff, you're blasting stuff up with your blaster, and you're going through these different worlds alongside with exploring the uh, planet that you're exploring. The planet is, each, some planets are huge, so, you know, it may take you a while to explore those kind of planets, but um, they really, they really thought from the heart on this one. I really didn't have any problems when I saw the gameplay of this, and it just, it really makes you think. I do love it how when you're going inside the planet, it expands, and it just makes you feel like you're actually in the ship, you're actually going inside the planet, you know, it's, you're going really, really fast, and then now you see it, and then now you're landing onto uh, the planet that you're on. Um, of course, you do, there are some weird animals into the game. I, I saw it from the demo, I saw it from the trailer, there's like dinosaur looking things into several planets. Some of which can be friendly, but some can uh, be for attack uh, as well, so you just got to be careful uh, about about which, which planet you go on and just be careful about how you perceive it. Um, uh, again, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, again, I do like it, the multiplayer uh, style to it. Uh, of course, you have a lot of people on the server playing the same game as you. Um, when I was on the uh, planets, I kind of had this feel of destiny. I don't know if most people can have that feel, but it, you know, when, once you're in the first-person mode, it makes you feel like uh, you're playing destiny just a little bit. Even though we, didn't, we did have some people that didn't really like the game, I actually love destiny. Uh, I think Kennedy, he actually loved Destiny as well, but, um, you know, we, we enjoyed it. Um, we didn't really see much of uh, much of glitches as of yet. I do believe this game might have some glitches in the future because it's such a huge proxy server. It's, it's huge gigabytes, and you have so many people on the server playing. So, um, you know, as of, as of this far, we didn't really have much of glitches, glitches um, but uh, I'm, I'm sure they're going to they're gonna come. Uh, kind of soon, maybe within the next update of the of the game system. Um, but I do encourage you guys to uh, you know come out and go out and get this game as well. Um, you know the, the the plot is the player character known as the Traveler wakes up on a remote planet there uh, near their crashed spacecraft. Uh, they received a message from the uh, entity called the Atlas uh -huh, that offers its guidance. Directing and directing the character to make the necessary repairs to the spacecraft and collecting the resources needed to fuel the hyperspace jump to another solar system. In route, 
their intercounter intercounter individual members of three alien species, the the Geek, Geek, uh, the Corvox, and the Viking that inhabits the galaxy. Uh, As the Traveler moves towards towards our solar system, they are alerted to to a persistence of the space anomaly uh, in a nearby system. That is a tongue twister, and there's so much going on to this game. But please, Lucas Nation fans and Lucas Nation fans, please, I encourage you guys to pick this up because, you know, this game is one of those games where you just want to pick it up just to play it and to really get the unique style of it. Um, of course, please be sure to leave any like or any comments in the description below. Um, and that pretty much wraps up our uh, Lucas Chat podcast with your host, Tyrus Lester. Again, this guys, this is one of the games where you want to pick it up. Uh, please be sure to uh, view this on SoundCloud. We are available on SoundCloud right now. It's soundcloud.com slash KLP Entertainment. Uh, please be sure to check out the website of www.lucas904.wings.com slash live. I am the executive for that site, so you can see all the podcasts on that show on that website and, of course, on the KLP Network on the live exclusive uh, tab. Uh, please be sure to check out all of our link descriptions of our Daily Motion accounts, YouTube, and SoundCloud at KLP Entertainment. I really love working at this company, and I really do love doing these podcasts. Of course, please stay tuned for next week as I talk about more games in, into the future. Of course, please stay tuned. If you missed it, please check out the uh, Lucas Chat podcast, Road to Sonic Mania, with your host, Kennedy Lucas. He is talking about the new game, Sonic Mania, that's going to be released out uh, early 2017. So check them out. You know, we're all a partnership on this thing, and I just we're, we're here um, to do these podcasts. Of course, this is this is sponsored by our Lucas Chat Podcast podcast series for this weekend. So I cannot wait to see you guys' reaction with both podcast shows. As of right now, I'm Tyrus Lester, logging out.